There are efforts throughout Mailu to restore pride in our communities. In North City, they're trying to bring back the soul of the community. It all starts with bringing back the luster of one of St. Louis's tallest landmarks, the Grand Water Tower. It stands tall in North City. The tallest classical column in the world. An unmistakable landmark. It's such a strong image. The Grand Water Tower. Built in 1871. Built for purpose. Unbelievably important piece of St. Louisans getting drinking water out of their own faucets in the 1870s. The towering structure hasn't been used in 108 years. Sort of quietly asleep since 1912. While it was never torn down. It's this antique that we still have on our city skyline. Its appearance had been beaten up. A state of total decay. The Urban League of Metro St. Louis brought an end to that neglect with Operation Clean Sweep. James Clark headed up the effort. We spoke via FaceTime. It's a personal matter for him. The water tower is a member of my family. It has been a part of my life since birth. In a matter of hours, Cruz painted the tower something that had not been done in 70 years. It's great to see that this thing is being saved. Restoring its grandeur. What a jewel we have right here. Clark sees this as just the beginning for the College Hill neighborhood. Part of a strong renaissance for North St. Louis. A place that's seen its fair share of neglect. The vacant buildings and vacant lots. He hopes the refreshed tower will bring a refreshed attitude. We now have got to challenge ourselves to do the same thing within our families and to do the same thing within our neighborhoods. The Grand Tower, a piece of St. Louis history that Clark believes could inspire a better future. Inspiration at a time when St. Louis needs it. What a beautiful tower there. Great story, Rennie.